Hey guys, this is Miss Hunt again. I wanted to go over one other one other um, topic. Um, how do you get your organization that you volunteered for to sign off on your volunteer sheet? Well, if you've already got your volunteer sheet uh, on a paper hard copy and you've already filled it all out, you can take that paper and turn it into a scan document into a PDF using your cell phone and then you can email it to the organization as long as you have contacted them beforehand. Other thing is if you don't have it already completed, you don't necessarily have to print this out, you can just go to this volunteer sheet, download it. I already have it downloaded and obviously I'm on my MacBook so I'm going to go to Finder, go to my downloads and there it is. If you are on a non MacBook, you can go to, you can still download it, but go to your, um, your files and still find your downloads. And you're going to name your volunteer sheet, whatever it is that you, the organization that you volunteered for. So I'd go ahead and do that. Um, I prefer on your MacBook to make sure that you're opening it in a preview. If you are opening it on a non MacBook, you can open your file, your PDF file as are in Adobe or some kind of editing file like that or um, software program. So I'm going to maximize this so you guys can see everything that I'm looking at. Let me delete some of the things because I'd already started working on this. Um, if you are in again in your preview, there is this little tackle box looking thing. And if you were to hover over it, Nathan Nurnberger, I did not say Hoover, you will hover over it and this options are going to pop up. And depending on whether you're on your Mac or on a desktop um, or an HP or whatever it is, a non MacBook, it may look, your options may be a little bit different, but it's still available that you can edit this PDF. So I want to type in my name. So the first thing before you start adding all the information is you can go over here set the font to whatever you want it to be make sure that it's around 12 don't make it extra large because it's not going to look professional make sure that you change the color to whatever that is appropriate i have mine at Arial 12 in a black so i'm going to go over to the um a over here it lets me know that i'm going to type and if you're not sure what they are if you just hover over them it will tell you what each of these options mean so I'm going to type in my name and that is not, uh, is that the font I wanted? It is. Um, I'm going to finish typing in all of my information. And then when I get here, you need to ask yourself, how are you going to circle this? Because you obviously can't circle. Um, you could either draw it, but I like to just go here pick a circle and you're going to make sure that you just make it small enough and then drag it over I can get it to drag there we go if you got this little hand that means that you're able to drag it if it's on anything else that means that you're going to expand it now some of you it may not look like the circle your circle may look like this or it may be all shaded in and nothing else so how do you fix that so if you're on your shapes you've chosen a shape if you'll go over here where it has this little outline it tells you that you won't you do not want the middle of it shaded if you go over here to where it's just the outline of the box, this lets you change the color of your circle. Okay, so again, the outline of the circle is corrected by choosing this box. The inside of the circle is corrected by using this box. And so if I choose it to shade it in, obviously my letter or um, the wording on the inside goes away. So if you go to the dash, that means that I don't want the shade on the inside, but be careful because if you hit the lot dash over here, then it shows that you don't want any kind of um, shading on the outline and so it still looks like the same. But you want to make sure that you do have shading, so I'm just going to stick with the blue. You'll do the same thing for this if you just would actually, if you were to take this, copy it just like you would anything else. Copy. And it makes double of them. So then I turn it to my hand. 
and then I'm able to drag it to whatever else that I need, okay? And I'm going to type in and fill out this information again, going back to the A's for the text selection. And I'm going to just type in my information. Okay, fill in all your information. If your text is too big and it won't fit on the lines that are available, again, remember you can go back to the text selection um, or the font selection up here and you can make the text smaller, okay? Um, once you have saved it, because it says a signature of the organization, what you can do, again, save it to the name of the organization you volunteered for, and then you're going to contact the appropriate person person that was over that organization and you will ask them if they would be willing to sign off and then they can you can email it to them and they're able to sign just as an FYI for you guys if you're wanting to sign off on anything if you go here to the signature you can create a signature I've already created one and this is not like taking a text and typing it and then changing the font style to some kind of um, graffiti, not graffiti, but calligraphy type font. You're not doing that. You're actually going to take your trackpad and you can sign with it. And that's what, you know, they can do. Um, or some of them have a digital signature already created that they can just add in there. They can save it, send it back to you. You don't have to take any pictures of anything else. And then you can just make sure that you resave it, whatever, upload it. And then we will review to, um, for approval or for denial and if we do deny it we'll send it back to you to be corrected again um, please make sure that you have all of these as soon as possible before April the 9th so that we can go through these accurately and make sure that everybody has what they need when they need it all right thank you very much